In this video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly what goes through my mind in a live game of Weekend League in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now in this video, I'm going to be running the nickel 335 wide on defense. I'm going to be running the uh, gun trips tight in or actually I'm going to be running the gun bunch on offense so if you want to get the exact offense and the exact defense that I am running you can get both of those down in the description I'm running the New England bunch and I actually have a full ebook on the New England Patriots offensive playbook it's the best playbook in the entire game it's honestly been the best playbook in Madden for a long time and it continues to be just an amazing and incredible playbook so if you want to get access to my entire New England Patriots offensive guide you can get that in the description if you want to get the nickel 335 wide defense this has been shutting people out all year long this is the best defense that I have found and that I have come across of in Madden 21 it was also probably the best defense in Madden 20 and so I would anticipate that it's going to be very good and very effective in Madden 21 so if you want to or Madden 22 so if you want to get access to uh, my entire uh, scheme and how to run it you can get that down in the description all right, my opponent is running some I form close, a little, uh, little bit, little play action with RG3. He's got a massive uh, tight end, got a playmaker, run around. Looks like this is kind of becoming the thing, man. Everyone that I play in Madden Ultimate Team, they are wanting to scramble with their quarterback. Uh, so what we're going to do is kind of set up just an early um, scramble defense here, just some contained D, um, just to kind of like force them to have to stay in the pocket a little bit. Uh, the beauty of the nickel 55 wide is that you could put linebackers at defensive end, which allows you to get really good uh, coverage, and then it also allows you um, to uh, really be able to contain, I think, a lot better. So anyway, as you can see right here, we've got some nice coverage set up here. We're looking to kind of contain this quarterback rollout. i got to watch out for any kind of seam streak. i got the spy right there in case he does exactly what he did, and he throws back across his body. There's three blue defenders right there, and unfortunately, somehow we don't come down with the interception. This has become a common problem, I think, in the last couple of weeks in the Madden Ultimate Team. It seems like I am dropping pick after pick after pick. Whether I play ball or play receiver, it's really not helping me either way, so... Um, maybe that's just kind of the thing. Maybe pick artist is an ability that is necessary. Maybe I need to put acrobat on my guys, but I've just been very frustrated with the fact that I'm dropping interceptions. Um, but anyways, we are going to get the punt, and uh, we're going to get the ball back. This is huge. This is why I like to not – I always recommend, I tell everyone that I will ever talk to about Madden, if you are smart, what you want to do ideally is you want to um, be able to receive the ball in the second half. That's really the, the thing. So you want to be able to kick the ball first – Get on defense, get a stop, and then you're going to be able to get the ball in the second half. I feel like that is such a huge uh, little tip, and if you have not, um, you know, if you if you've not seen that pay off in for you, uh, it pays off for me all the time. Whenever I can get that first stop, it's super super important. Now, on offense, I've actually gone to this Pat Sale play, and it's pri the primary reason why I really like this play, to be honest. Um, is I just love the route. The C route right here is really, really good against zone drops. And so uh, my first read is always this little truck, air truck right there in the back. The cool part is even if you play on conservative, um, which I believe I should be on conservative. Let me just double check. I'm going to put it on conservative right now. Even if you are on conservative, you can still do the air truck glitch. And the, re and the way you can do it basically is you just have to truck immediately. So as long as you truck immediately, you're gonna be good. So if he does anything on that backside that allows me to throw this ball, um, I'm gonna throw it every single time. Right here, that's the route, that's the money route. That's the my favorite route in the game is this Pat Sale uh, post. It's still really, really good. Most people don't think it's as good as it used to be, but it honestly is still really, really a great uh, combination. And I love this read right here. Um, now the way he kind of played his defense, they kind of matched on. I think he's maybe not using uh, zone drops, or I'm not sh quite sure, but um, just the way he ran that defense right there it was kind of a late, uh, a later match. So you know, we just basically stepped up in the pocket and made a read here again. Air truck right up. See how he, see how he does that little quick truck animation. You can still do that and play on conservative, which is really valuable uh, in my opinion. Now, second and six right here uh, for the offense. What I like to do in situations like this where I know that I'm not going to have a good opportunity to quick snap, what I, what I like to do is actually like to just simply come out, I'll hot route, I'll flip a play, I'll hot route uh, again, and then I'll, you'll see I'll flip the play one more time. 
and you'll see that this is gonna you know just really simplify everything a little bit for me now if he goes man to man I gotta be ready for that um, we'll see here it does look like he's gonna go man to man I've got this guy wide open but he is running into his head absolutely ridiculous that should have been an easy one play touchdown right over the outside crosser there um, but it is what it is so we'll see what happens on this next play if we get that same uh, kind of fluke uh, right there on that cut. That's why we like that route so much. It's really good against man It's really good against zone as well because you can kind of fit it into the zones uh, Relatively nicely the other thing I like about that route is that it is smart routable So is the same to that on the other side um, So what you can see here is we've got some really nice little wraparound routes for the back of the end zone You'll see he gets to the back of the end zone and then he's gonna cut to the outside um, You know not that it's a big deal here in first and goal from the three but just something that you have in your arsenal now, um, in this situation, kind of based on how the game is going, I really like to sub in RG3 and just try this run. This run right here from the trips tight end flex, I think is one of the best runs in the entire game. The inside zone, you, if some playbooks have a, I have a read option um, in the live version of this playbook, but uh, I just like to sub him in and I just find this to be really hard to shoot. So we'll come out, we'll run this once or twice. If it's still not there, um, then we'll go to something else but you'll see here like I mean this run is just it's just tough to shoot I mean you see that right there it's just very tough to shoot able to kind of fight in and get the touchdown off the bat so this is a great start for the offense great start for the defense offense went right down scored seven defense did its job got a stop we just need one more stop and we're going to be in a really good position to be able to get a win uh, in this game because I talked about this before ideally what you want to do you really can feel fairly comfortable if you can get up by uh, three scores perfect world is that you get up by three scores um it, it just to me that that makes the most sense because three possession lead um it takes at least at least a half uh to come back from three possessions in my opinion so if we can get up by 10 points and then get the ball at halftime and be able to come out and maybe get seven um we would be in a really really good position but all that to say we've got to get this stop and we've got to focus on the drive right in front of us here um, now again remember he likes to roll out so we've got to be mindful of that if he rolls out with RG3 um, you know we just have to be aware of that we have to be mindful of that so here just kind of running brain dead stretch to the right you know I, I'm not sure and honestly I'm I'm kind of willing to concede the run at this point of the year I just don't know like I don't know why people run um, personally I just don't I don't think that it's that good this year um, it's very fluky I think there's you know obviously value in running base or running runs in certain situations, but uh, as an every down offense, I just don't think it's a great idea. It's not the look this year, but here you're gonna see, I'm gonna put these curl flats out here, um, try to get some instant pressure here, roll, uh, kind of sit on this route, just kind of trying to force some stuff, and he's gonna get like one of the most random catches ever, and uh, complete me for, or dot me up for about 30 yards. So what I like to do is I like to just kind of see, you know, how the pressure is going to look. Um, he's running tight slots, uh, tight slots a little different than tight doubles um, or tight offset and so because of that we can feel free to spy this guy see here I've got this route I've got I'm sitting right on the delay fade he actually literally just ran a curl route and a delay fade right in the same area of the field so you know we're playing decent uh, decent enough defense to get him to do stuff like that so anyway right here you're gonna see he's right-handed so I also really like to spy this other guy and you'll see I'm just gonna contain just to try uh, to kind of keep him in the pocket if I'm not worried about the run that's kind of my move here I'm watching for this delay fade he does go to the delay fade and uh, he's gonna have to scramble and just roll out and throw it away so you're seeing I'm kind of sitting on that middle of the field work in the middle of the field for any curl routes or anything letting the Mabel coverage do its job against slants and crossers and drags and all that stuff um, and so far um, so good so you're gonna see right here we're gonna go to that two-man pressure concept again with the spy just really trying to contain as best we can at least put some pressure on him uh, when he does roll out and you'll see right here um, you know we're trying to get these the, the really really important little tip here is whenever you're playing something like a compression set in this year's game it's really really smart I think to do what I just did where I base align the defense because routes in this year's game is all about breaking out they want space for corner routes to be able to run and so because we didn't give them any space to do that uh, we were able to get the stop 
Now, uh, whenever I play Gun Bunch, I've played enough Gun Bunch at this point in the year to know that it's really, really hard um, to beat this to beat this specific coverage for 25 yards. But hopefully, we, <laughs> I say that now, um, and, and and of course, you know, see here. So he did go to a timeout. We'll see if he does punt. Um, I don't think it's a smart decision to go for this. Fourth and 22 is really hard to convert in this year's game, but he is gonna. It does look like he's gonna go to it. So we're gonna go to some man coverage. Um, and we're going to have the uh, double edge contain here off the edge here. And then one of the things I like to do, uh, and I didn't get the adjustment off, is put like a, you see all of those guys coming across. And, of course, he hits it. That's exactly what I was trying to, it's the exact hot rod I was trying, <laughs> trying to make. Uh, very bad defense by me. I just did not play great defense right there. Also, another thing is whenever somebody goes under center like he's going, I love to do this right here. If he's going to run um, routes out of this and like actually try to throw, you will see I will do that every single time. Kind of a little bit of a mistake I made on the first drive or first couple of times he went to that play. I didn't put the pressure on. Under center offenses, at least in Madden 21, and I suspect it'll be the same in Madden 22 because it's been the same for years in Madden. If somebody is running an under center offense, it is really, really important that you blitz the living daylights out of them. You really want to send a lot of pressure at the under center offenses just because it's really, uh, it really is hard to pick up pressure, at least in this year's game, um, specifically according to that. So anyway, here you're going to see we've got the deep path out there. We've got a double edge rush off that side. Uh, we're really trying to kind of contain on that edge. I'm going to drop a yellow on that right side for the running back. It really takes away everything the running back on that side. Little mesh post. Got the spy. And really just kind of work and work and work and defensively work and defensively work and work and work. And he throws right over at my user. And he catches that. He catches that. Oh, my goodness. This is the three passes that he has completed have been absolute prayers. Absolute prayers, man. Um, this guy has got a childlike faith apparently because he is throwing up some prayers um so yeah right here whenever you see something like that almost always recommend using these deep half zones um using exactly kind of this concept right here because you're really looking to see something exactly like what he's doing trying to hit this corner around the back corner as you see there the defense doing a decent job at hanging um one of the things that's also really good in the red zone specifically uh cover four to me is the defense that you want to be running if you're going to be running a defense in the red zone uh, I, th I just think cover four or man coverage man coverage or cover four uh is like the best way to go so uh, here we're going to spread the line out to three through five we've got cover four um get really good inversions really watching for that read i don't know how he completed that that's another one of those throws that is just not a good look not a good read but somehow he's completing it. he's throwing curl routes against hook curl defenders and just somehow he's able to complete it so anyways all that being said uh we're going to be trying to come down and get a stop here um my go-to defense for goal line is the pinch um the pinch uh blitz here so i really need to stop see if he goes like with a, a stretch run or something maybe like a little fake zone week or something see what he does really heavy pressure he's going to go to a screen and um this is this is one of the biggest things a big point here on weekend league this is the kind of stuff that you cannot get mad about it is very very frustrating you have to control and have to have short-term memory in the sense of like you want to remember what they do but you don't want to get so agitated that's going to affect your next drive i've never ever in my life seen someone run a slip screen on first and two from the goal line and have it work as good as it did for him apparently it's the best call in the game and so if he ever does that again we're going to be ready for the slip screen next time we're ready for the stretch and all that stuff i think that's a terrible play call but because the, you play so many random players, whenever you're playing weekend league, you play so many random uh, players. Some A lot of players don't have a full scheme, or they have like uh, little glimpses, but they just don't really have like everything all put together. They're doing random stuff, and so you can't get mad at it. You just say, okay, well, next time we'll adjust to the tendency. Because you have to play tendencies on defense. If you're not willing to play tendencies on defense, you are never going to be successful in Madden, in my opinion, because you're going to get so frustrated um, at, at, at just how people play in this game so there you see there the post route wide open low ball i've got rogers with pass lead lead everything and somehow a stock yellow zone just takes it away like just completely crazy to me that this guy i mean he's running stock cover two and he's just able to do it because madden this year is 
very rewarding to people, I guess, that run stock plays. So, anyway. Um, right here, I'm going to wait and see if we can't get something deep open right that right there so i had i could i had the circle receiver but i it was a little dicey and so what i decided to do was wait on the just wait because he's not blitzing anybody he's running stock cover to you every play so uh we just started just to wait a little bit and uh we were able to able to hit him one of the things i also like to do and i don't talk about this a lot but when people are running stock cover too i really like this concept right here um this is just a simple um it's just a very simple way of playing, but basically it's a pad sale. Uh, the only difference is we're going to do something like this, basically. So really kind of flood this left side, uh, just to kind of see, you know, is this is this really truly what he wants to do? And there we get our nice little dig route, able to get a couple yards, get up field, call timeout, and get ourselves kind of reset for this next opportunity. I don't know if he's running cloud coverage or not. We're gonna try to hit the vertical play um, and just kind of see Honestly, just kind of see like what he's doing. Now you notice here that he did base a line out of this. So this is a very interesting little adjustment. Something we need to pay attention to. Really look up the seams here. Um, and we got the back out of the backfield. So we'll just take the back. And that's really unfortunate because I believe I'm on conservative. Um, uh, but guys, you do remember I did go off of conservative. Um, so that's on me. Uh, I went off conservative, bad on me, and um, he is going to be able to get another free stop for not having to do absolutely anything. So I thought I was on conservative. I wasn't. You always have to check your coaching adjustments or stuff like that is going to happen. I promise you it happens to me all the time. Um, really, really, really bad mistake by me. And now he's got another free possession. So um, he's got a free possession. Really, really important that we're able to get the stop. See here, just everything taken away. I don't know where my spy is. I'm still, I, I'm still just not sure why we even put a spy on the field because we put a spy on the field. He rolled out of the pocket and we sent the spy. And for whatever reason, the spy did not do anything. So uh, very, very unfortunate um, for us on that. But we'll see. We're going to stick with the same defense. Um, this is just not a good look for him. He's not really doing anything about it. See here, spy rolls out. There's a delay fade. I was really trying to bait him into throwing that delay fade because it would have been a huge interception because we could have turned around taking a field goal really quick. Um, and unfortunately, we're just not able to do that. Right here, I'm blitzing everybody. Um, we're sending the house at him, really trying to get in there and force him. And that right there. So unfortunately, we don't have a timeout. He's going to be able to clock us out and uh, take all the clock. I was hoping he would, he would try to maybe pass, uh, maybe try to actually score. Uh, but I think he's confident that uh, in his defense, apparently. So, all right. So we'll see what he does here. Uh, I'm gonna totally go for the strip sack if I can. Um, and I'm stripping, 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 and unfortunately, not able to get the turnover. So that brings us to halftime in a dogfight against a guy that we are way better of a Madden player than. But because of the randomness of his play calls, we have struggled mightily to get some stops. So this does bring me to my conversation about my true fan membership. If you consider yourself a true fan of my channel and you are really looking to get better at Madden 21, I want to encourage you to sign up for that. There's going to be a link in the description for you to sign up to be a true fan of the channel. And basically what a true fan of the channel gets is every single week you get exclusive videos that aren't post even to my guide members, even to my text message members. These are only for people who have signed up for the uh, true fan membership and basically it's an offensive meta update a defensive meta update and a pro player breakdown every single week so every single week you're getting the highest quality tips in the community uh, possible so be sure to uh, be sure to take advantage of that right here this is why I love this place so much that route combo is so insanely hard to guard um, this C route is so underrated it just it, it honestly it truly is um, it's just a really really good route combination and the cool part is you can you know work some quick routes on both sides of the field here now you're going to see right nice little laser cd lamb there's no zone drop i have not found a very there is a zone drop that can stop that but what he's doing is not going to stop that so that's a really consistent read and what it does it gets them to bring their zone drops down so then we can go to something like the play curl flat which is what we're going to go to right here uh, we can go to curl flat and we can try to hit them um, kind of over the top a little bit here so you're going to see we're going to go with a little back 
back backside drag really looking at the quick flat here on the right side and if that's open we're going to take that every single time we're going to force them to have to do something um, other than doing nothing which is what he's been doing up until this point all right so here we're going to go back to our c route um, and it looks like he's going to blitz off the edge it almost looked like that guy was trying to run out and carve their own man but good dot offense is clicking right now um one of the things you'll notice i need to change this uh this is a bad bad habit for me you probably saw if you've been watching if you know what happened on the last drive you know that i have yet to put my guy back on conservative um that's a ma major mistake major major mistake um, right here uh we're just gonna throw it away we were kind of testing him honestly i I was, I was anticipating a cover two call, another cover two call, but he went with a pressure uh, defense. So a little bit of a mistake on my part for not reading that. And um, anyway, we've got to get back into the bunch here and see what we can cook up on this third down and two. It's a big drive. Obviously, this guy has angels in the outfield. And so if we don't score a touchdown on this drive, it's very likely that we are going to be in a little bit of trouble. So this is where I love this Pat's curl flat play. Um, it's a very, very simple concept, but it's very, very effective. So, um, again, very simple. We're totally anticipating pressure, so we've got to watch to see if that linebacker blitzes here. Nope, no pressure. Okay. Um, his user went with that corner route, and so we just check it down. Uh, we just check it down to our uh, our other guy there. So we're going to get C.D. Lamb in the ball game. Um, kind of flip the bunch a little bit here. A big dot right there on, on, um, on um, uh, third and two. Now here he's showing, he is showing some uh, cover two style, uh, but he is going to go to man coverage. I totally hit the wrong button. I totally hit the. I had a touchdown too. I totally hit the wrong button on that play, unfortunately, and that's huge. That's a huge mistake. That's a huge mistake. That's two mistakes inside scoring range. Um, that I have made and so we've got to be really really careful about not doing that right here uh, on this second down and 10 yards to go uh, seeming like he is wanting to shift a little bit to this man-to-man -man coverage there you see they're able to hit him with the dot that time and Rodgers does exactly what we need him to do in that situation and uh, is actually going to keep the ball on that hash mark now, what I like to do in the red zone is I love these C routes, uh, smart routed. So I'm going to streak Calvin. And he is going to go man to man. And I've got my guy in the back corner of the end zone. And unfortunately, I was hit as I threw, and it threw me off, and that's going to bring up a second and goal. But I really like the look. Hopefully, you see. Um, that look is a good look. It's a good look. So the beauty of this is we can also work this running back backside if we want to. We have the ball on the five-yard line. Um, so we can work this. You see that C route is so good on that right. Um, we just have to get that right combination uh, right here. So this is just a, a, a good down and distance, five yards to goal on a goal line. And we're going to use this table route in case that linebacker blitzes off the outside. You see he does pinch here. So good play call by him. We're going to smart route. Uh, our two guys here and then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use this um, um, this this little flat route to the slot and then we're gonna take the tight end and we're going to put him on a little dig route just coming across because he's running a lot and I mean a lot um, of man-to-man -man coverage and here we're gonna hit the corner route in the back corner of the end zone that time Rodgers is able to make the throw able to get the catch and you see how glitchy that C route really is I think it's one of the top probably five routes in Madden 21. The motion snap C route is so good this year. Um, it just, because the flats can really pull those those zones underneath. underneath, And um, that's a big touchdown. Now we've got to do our part on defense. We need one more stop to be able to close this ball game out. Um, that's really, really important. So uh, defensively here, we've got to honor the fact that he can roll out, the fact that he can throw stuff up and, you know, just be able to complete stuff that he probably should never complete in a real game. And uh, we've got to be able to honor that a little bit. Remember on goal line that he's like, he does like to run slip screen, kind of get that tendency down. Really important whenever you're playing somebody like this that you get that stuff. So uh, you're going to see here, I am going to go to my coaching adjustments and I am going to put it off of conservative just because if you get an interception like that and you're on conservative, it's not a good thing. So he's coming back out in eye close. 
Um, and we are going to try to blitz the living daylights out of him. If he tries to pass, we will blitz him. Um, there you see, instant sack. Somehow he rolls out of the pocket, uh, tries to throw a bomb up top. Darius Slate able to make a play, and we are going to get a, We are going to get the stop that we needed. Um, he somehow got out of that sack, absolutely baffled, baffled at how in the world he got out of that sack. But now we're going to get the ball back on offense and have another have an opportunity to go down and get three and close this ball game out real quick. Not going to make the same mistake I made at the end of half. You see right there, we're going ball carrier conservative. Coming down in that gun bunch, Pat Sale, one of my favorite. I mean, it's just such a good play. Um, and what I like to do is like to smart route both of those routes. And then I love to uh, use these motion snaps here. So you're going to see, look on this left side. If they blitz, we're going to be hitting this route to uh, Zeke. No blitz, no pressure, but we do are able to hit the flat on the right side, as you can see, and able to get a couple yards. Now, whenever you're in a situation like this, the clock is on your side. So you can take extra time to set stuff up. You can kind of, you know, get stuff prepared before you come out because you already kind of have an idea of how you're going to attack how you're going to approach this. So it's really, really, um, you know, kind of a simplified, uh, you know, just a simplified deal here. So really reading this right side. If they play zone, we're going to hit it. If not, we're going to check, uh, check up to CD Lamb here on this play. Real quick read, easy read right there. Just easy snap throw. I'm on conservative. That's going to get me to the quarter. Put shoe clock on here. And, um, and that's exactly what we're looking for right now offensively. And so we're coming out in this first and 10 situation. And again, guys, I talked about this. Our goal is we've got to get up by, th by uh, three. Uh, really, that's our main goal on this. We've got to go down. Uh, we've got to get a field goal. That's what we're trying to accomplish. And so uh, you're going to see here we're going to really try to be intentional. Uh, he does shift to the man coverage right there. Um, unfortunately, and I don't know what just happened. I actually have no clue what happened on that play. My C route just kind of glitched out. I don't know what happened. He wasn't main coverage and somehow he jumped that. Um, very, very frustrated uh, to say the least on that. So we're gonna have to figure out why that, that just happened. I have no idea why that happened, uh, but now he does have life and uh, we have to be very, very mindful of that. And we've got to get a stop. We actually helped him uh, significantly. So he's going to play action and he throws us a pick six. That's huge. And there you see Grant Delpit making a play, closing out. This is why I talk about when people go under center, if you blitz them, they don't know what to do. I'm telling you right now, if you will blitz people who run under center offenses, they will throw the craziest things up in the world. They have no business throwing. So defense honestly has saved us. Uh, we, I'm not sure how he picked that C route. Seemingly like a very C uh, or a very clean read for me, uh, but unfortunately we were you know obviously bagged on that and, and apparently uh, apparently that's how he can you know easily stop us. So good defense by him. I'm not sure even what he did, but um, but anyway we're able to kind of at least come back and get a nice play on that. We, we really weren't in a great spot because we've established this tendency that if he wants to pass out of under center he has to throw the ball quick. Pressure wasn't even there, and he was thrown off his back foot, and we were able to get a big play. So defense just needs one more stop to close this ball game out, and um, we're going to have an opportunity to get that. We've got a two-possession lead, first and 10, uh, and ball on his 21-yard line, three minutes, 45 seconds left. Very unlikely that he's going to be able to come back, but it does definitely shift how you play defense. You're going to play defense a little bit differently. Uh, it does look like he might be uh, kind of – you know delaying me out we'll see what happens but um but yeah that's you know we're going to be very very uh consistent and contained i felt like we game was probably a little closer than it should have been but sometimes you got to fight through the adversity so uh if you guys have not signed up for the new england page or uh, for the true fan membership i would highly encourage you to do that it's a great place just to be able to uh just get really really good material man you get every week you get an offensive meta update you get a defensive meta update and then you also get um, you also get um, a pro player breakdown where we actually sit down and like literally break down exactly what a pro player does um, so if you want to get access to all that stuff that is down uh, in, the, in the description you can get the entire membership for just five bucks and there you see again he wants to he wants to go to this beater like he, he wants to run this post beater. We're not going to let him. We saw we deep half on that side. Got in the instant pressure. And now here he is, third and 26. Now what I like to do whenever I have someone right here, where I have him like right up against the ropes, 
we are going to go to this setup right here for and he he's actually checking down to run stretch and just basically praying to get a big run but what i'm doing is i am really really pushing down on this and the reason why is because he can't handle the pressure he's shown that um some people you play are really good against the blitz some people you play can't handle the blitz and so it's your job as a defensive player um to you know basically read that you see here we're going to do a little deep half we're not covering any of the backs uh, we're just trying to basically sack him fourth to 24 he's not going to get the first down and we are um, simply going to knee it out here we'll see if he does we're not going to be able to knee this ball out completely but we are going to take four knees and we're going to take as much clock and then we're going to take a field goal because like i said in the beginning of the video if you could get to 17 points if you can get to 17 points that is where the game starts to be out of hand once you get that three possession um that three possession lead that is where you know you've kind of won the ball game and so as you can see here we're going to go all the way to the two minute warning we're going to take as much time down as we possibly can and then what we're going to do is we're going to kick a field goal we're going to go by 20 uh, by 17 points kicking the ball back he's not going to have enough time there's no way he can come back from this so we are going to get at least one thing right offensively with the clock management a couple of very uncharacteristic turnovers honestly um you know a couple bad things you know what the i think he had two interceptions on us that were a little bit weird and then he had the, obviously the fumble um so he had that interception in the back corner of the end zone where we felt like we were throwing the ball where only our receiver could get it and unfortunately end up coming back to bite us and then we had uh, the other interception on I, I don't know if he was on a flat route or hard flat or something and was able to jump that not sure but uh kudos to my uh, my opponent here but as you see we're going to give him the ball back with um you know a little bit a little bit under a minute and um and the defense has been playing really really good like i said if you want to get the defense that we ran in this video the exact defense it's in that nickel 335 wide defense down in the description and if you want to get the exact offense that we ran in this video that is also available down in the description you can get the uh, new england patriots offensive guide i think new england is just an incredible offensive playbook it has everything that you could even want it has um, compression sets it has spread sets it has trip sets it has under center tight close uh, passing windows has great running plays uh, from iform tight it's got goal line uh, iform tight to goal line type of deal not every playbook has that so just a lot of really really good uh, formations in new england it's got some five wide concepts i think that are actually a pretty pretty um, effective and so as you can see here as we're wrapping up this game if you want to get that new england guide um, it's been good in years past and uh, it's going to continue to be good the concepts we talk about this year uh, from new england are a hundred percent going to transfer to madden 22 not not necessarily the in you know maybe, maybe there's a little nuance changes here and there but by and large the offense that we run in this year's game will be very similar to the offense we run in madden 22 so i would get a jump start on that make sure you grab that new england guide it's just going to help you it's going to help you get better it's going to teach you um, how to think about concepts, how to think about route combinations, how to think about all those plays and stuff, um, how to build an effective offense. We talk about that in the guide. So um, but the true fan membership is also awesome. I can't say uh, I can't say enough about how awesome that is. But, but anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. This guy's going to basically probably just kneel it out. He's going to try to continue to – he's probably going to try to hit this uh, cover three beater over and over again, and we're going to just blitz the living daylights out of him, as you can see right there. So – Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Be sure to text me. My number is 208-218-6900. We put out free schemes every single week on the text for our text message members. And you can ask me any question that you want related to Madden 21. Uh, so it's a great place for you to be able just to get the, um, you know, just to get the direct access to me. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And we will see you guys uh, in the next one.